Income Tax Refund 2021, understanding your letter 4883C or 6330C. What this letter is about, the IRS needs to verify your identity so that they can process your federal income tax return. What you need to do is call the number in your letter with the information listed below. When you call, they will ask you questions to verify your identity. It says have all of the following available when you call the 4883C or 6330C letter, the income tax return reference in the letter, and there's a note, a W-2 or Form 1099 is not a tax return. You need a prior year income tax return other than the year in the letter. Supporting documents that you file with each year's income tax return, for example, W-2, Form 1099, Schedule C or F. Also note, Authorized third parties may assist taxpayers, but the taxpayer must be on the call. The toll-free IRS identity verification number is for identity verification only. No other tax-related information, including refund status, is available at that number. What happens if the IRS cannot verify you immediately? Until they verify you, they will not be able to process your tax return, issue refunds, or credit any overpayments to your account. What happens if you cannot verify? If you cannot verify your identity over the phone, the IRS will ask you to schedule an appointment and bring the documents listed above to your local IRS office to verify in person. What happens after you successfully verify? After we successfully verify your identity, the IRS says they will process your tax return. It may take up to nine weeks to receive your refund or credit any overpayment to your account. If they find other problems, it says that they will contact you once again and that will create a longer delay and issuing you a refund. It says here, what happens if you didn't file your tax return yourself? If someone may have filed a fraudulent tax return using your name, social security number, or your ITIN, it says here that if you didn't file an income tax return for that tax year above listed, it is important to let the IRS know immediately to confirm that you may have been a victim of identity theft to stop fraudulent activities. It says if you did file, if you were the one that filed, you need to call them immediately so that they can Proceed with the information necessary to verify your identity and process your income tax return, issue any or apply any overpayment to your next year's estimated tax. Where can you find this information? You can find more information in publication 5027 Identity Theft Information for Tax Payers.